orders are as follows. Good morning, cadets. Welcome back to our Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. Where before we head on, I just want to point out that I uh, did another uh, upgrade for my cyberware. We're up to tier 4, and I have a couple of extras. Increase the atomic sensors, and I believe was the RAM recoup that I managed to sneak in a bit. That gives me a bit more extra RAM. And yeah, the bioconductor does not offset that uh, that much. Yeah, because the X disc is plus five at tier four, not plus four. So I still get plus one if these two cancel each other out, but they don't at this point. Unfortunately, that kind of took a dip into the cash, some down to 90 k. So even if I'm rare, I'm tier 4 right now, maybe I could have kept my previous ones and not upgrade to tier 4 and just waited until uh, I have the legendaries available to upgrade and uh, jump directly there. As cash, unfortunately, could be a bit more of a struggle if you're not doing, uh, if you don't have any quest gigs and whatnot to do. So I think from now on I am gonna start selling weapons and not disassemble them. And from operating system we have... I put the cyber psychosis I have here, cyber realm malfunction. And I kept the rest, overheat, short circuit, contagion, weapon glitch, ping. I replaced the reboot, reboot to optics. Maybe I won't bother with ping at some point, we'll see. I do have cripple movement, bait. Detonate the grenade, request backup, uh, off yourself, and system collapse. Uh, that's quite a lot of RAMs. For example, it's 28, 24, 24. Even for this one, Cyber Psychosis is 22. So that's quite, quite a lot. And I should be able to have like 22. If not, well, that sucks. I have that one just sitting there. And we're close to our objective to meet with Judy I decided to just fast travel close by and avoid any potential phone messages phone calls for gigs and whatnot uh, what's that sound what's happening because of those guys? Oh, yeah, why? Wait, Just what? Fuck off, the hell? Guys, okay, you wanna do this? Yeah. I want to collect line. Uh, why am I doing this? Guys, relax. Uh, What's going on? Okay, uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> um... Why? Right. Okay, we're back here. I'm still confused why those guys attacked me all of a sudden. I'll just... Do a quick run? This does not say hostile location or not. Weird. And what uh, distracted me was Watch it. around the edges. I thought maybe Johnny will, will appear or not sure. But, well, that's the way to start the episode, I guess. And now they're leaving me alone. So I'm not sure what was that all about. And everybody started to gang up on me. That's what uh, got me. Hey, haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. I'm looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Uh, is Judy around? Need to talk to Punch and Judy. 
She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Thank you. Scare away any customers what a and you're out. Little face you have. Right, the marks. It's one of those stories that is either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mox came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side. So we took matters into our own hands. The mox is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Uh, sex workers and endless artists, aimless rebels and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today the mox is striving, as demonstrated by the booming bees at Lizzie's bar. Lizzie's is, re is renowned for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gangons, pop stars and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink and dip into the most beautiful scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang-owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of Legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure eddies were falling into their pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this effort editor's note referring to a Tiger's Claws gang member, was having too much fun with one of the girls, and Lizzie just couldn't stomach, stomach it anymore. Story is, she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls, so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Of course, the Claws found out fast, and they flat, flatlined her in a flash. But everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back, and, well, he already know the rest. Damn. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to be that guy. Feast your eyes on this, huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? Come on now! Hey, to show you, can we talk? You look like... Well, then you can go uh, that again. You have a green <laughs> circle around. Get hey, me something. Ah, I don't have enough to ask that one. Do you know where Evelyn is? Looking for Evelyn Parker. Haven't seen her around. And you've got no idea where she is? Not the slightest. No idea where she could be. I'm a bartender, not her secretary. So you don't know, you didn't hear any rumors. Okay. Need to talk to D Judy though. Wanna talk to Judy? Mm hmm The question is, does she want to talk to you? Find out soon enough. Is she in her suite? Probably. Okay. Then it's uh what if you want to drink then? Well, there are a couple of rooms here. Ugh, still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. On a record, yeah, some gangsters. Trying to look to see if there's any thing of interest. Have your fun, guys. Family of Empire. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the most world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving of its own article. But suffice to say, the media, media industry in our city follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of empire, a true destiny dynasty under the rule of patriarchy Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and cessation of company control 
as well as his closely guarded secrets to his daughter Hanako and son Yurinobu have come and passed in recent years. But has the time come where such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth? Our sources report that Yurinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City, but not for a social call. And yet, if Yurinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako? Experts who follow the family closely unanimously agree that, due to ideological differences between Saburo and Yurinobu, Hanako will likely, likely cement herself as the one through heir to the immense fortune and power of the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what would happen if Hanako fell from favor at a time when Yurinobu had his father's ear? And what scenario might cause such a fall? No families without its secrets, and the Arasakas are no exception. After all, what appears first as heaven appears second as hell. Japanese proverb. Hmm. And that's uh that's a good one though. <laughs> Jude is embarrassing herself again. Wonder why Sue even keeps her around. You're kidding. Her virtues keep him coming. Keep the lights on in here. That's why. Club would make it off fame alone. Everyone knows Lizzie's. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. What? Judy's friend. You okay there, guys? Just here to see Judy. You're done with Abagulio? Maybe take the Euro yep. dollars. <laughs> back to the bump and grind. Okay, how to keep your data. Not going to read that one later on. Okay, diary. Watson Worker. Hey Judy, what's up? Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Uh, hello? Right. Looks like I interrupted something very interesting. Just give me a second. Here for components. Uh, Omaha. It's a safe area, so it means I can safely take stuff. You just don't right? give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? No, you weren't. But where is this aggression coming from? What's that all about? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. So, that your boss? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? No, I'm just looking for Evelyn. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Hmm. Okay, I cannot choose that one because I don't have the skill. V, get Evelyn. it together. I mean, it sounds to me like you two talked. You seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Joombas killed like a real pro. I mean... I took a hit. Myself. Where are you going? Caught some lead myself, too. Boo-hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Just tell me where she is. Do this for fun? Talking around in circles? Trying to make this simple? Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. I mean, she knew what she was getting into. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. 
Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clept during the heist is killing me, albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Don't be soft. Upgrade. Okay, thank you. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Uh talk more? Wait. It's not wait. Um just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Sure, I'll give you a call. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. No worries. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? I mean, it's a lead. Think I just woke up one day looking like this? This? Oh, we can get out through here as well. Oh, okay. Uh, first aid kit, that's not. What are you staring at? Got something to say? Say it. Do you know what uh, happened to Evelyn Parker? You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. And business good? Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at share a cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. <laughs> we took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. So, Moxes help uh, working girls. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. Damn. It's how the Mox got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Too bad I can't ask about that Forget one. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Fury. Yep, not bad. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Okay. Right, hopefully I don't get ambushed. Uh, mega building H8, which is... Oh, near Wokoko anyway. There is actually a gig near nearby, so let's do, ta do that one really quick. Okay, where's my car? Okay, you summoned it in that way.
Ooh, okay. Oh wait, this is uh, way down here. Isn't a uh, way for me to? Yeah. Okay. Why? Mm, really, game? Why do you give me all that going around when surely I can do something like this? data from Jotaro's private server. Found out who's been procuring people for his recordings. Meet Jay Hume, human trafficker and bona fide piece of shit. Check the sitch out for me. Deets attached. Okay. No, oh, so just uh, take care of him permanently. Looks like it. Hey, that hurt. Sorry. Oh, hello. Do I have some enemies over there. And then one more there, which means. There's more around. So I'm seeing the. <laughs> Not you. I think that you're the one that I was seeing. Okay, let's tag them. There's a, is actually someone over there. So if I approach here. I'm a free man, and I have the right to relax a little, don't I? I think you're just curious to see how to uh, aggressive they will huh? get. <laughs> now it says hostile areas. Okay. Don't make trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. But there's smoke. This fire is. Oh, can I not distract? Hey, Wasn't it somewhere, you? something over here? Yes, uh, I'm talking to you. What are you getting when you have life? Let me guess. Food from a tube, rusty water from the tap, a new murder outside your bedroom window. Oh. Hey, his body did not uh, hear him. When you begin your journey to the we can get the uh, here. We get away for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five pools, then... top end brain dance equipment, and the best chefs in the universe. If you're looking for a taste of paradise, don't. I think I can safely jack in here. Let's see. A, 7A, 7A, nice, okay. That's all three, perfect. Send space to 7299 right now. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive. In the dead of space. Okay. Uh, cross here. Hmm, that guy is patrolling. Is he gonna see me if I... No, oh, hold up. He's actually... Okay, so he is getting distracted by that. What was that? No, 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 you're not gonna see me. Good night. Perfect. Mm. 
Nope. No, 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 no. Actually, I can hide him here, sure. that no 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 it's one two oh okay oh somebody saw something them how was it you or the guy up above I Might have been the guy above. I mean, should be fine. Who's there for fuck's sake? Which direction are you coming, huh? though? Sure. Hmm. No, okay. You're watching that way. No point tiring ourselves out. Exactly. Okay, which direction? Oh, you're coming this. Where are you? Here. Nice. Okay, let's do cyber psychosis. Lady, lady. Tracking my location, but ah, you're him. Nice, and you had a progression sword, not bad. Okay, anything for me here to pack by chance? Doesn't look like I'll get the sniper rifle and. Oh, I do have an antenna here I can quickly hack. And that was more or less not bad, to be honest. One C, A9, nice, okay. I don't know whose uh, authority is that one, but... Jay Hume's dead. And here I thought nothing would cheer me up today. Great. <laughs> Consider the gig closed. You're welcome. Went Ugh. smoothly. Real smooth. You're telling me down here. Where's my car? It's coming. Anything else on the way? I mean, it could be this side job to try to take care of it. But yeah, let's go to the main quest. Okay. Okay. Just uh, change to this radio.
Okay. No, uh, no police stars on me. Thank you. Oh, message from Militech. Uh, played out as I hoped. Thank you, and remember, we don't know each other. Uh, I can't remember which. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if it matters or not. I mean, once to get a closer look at your ink. Oh, okay. Notel Motel, first floor, come alone. Right, right to that. There's the side one. Why do I have. Ah, okay. That's why. Oh, it's relatively close. But I'll, I'll keep that one for another time. I'm gonna have this uh, episode mo mostly focused on this main quest. I'll try to keep a full main quest part for each episode and if something is like secondary or whatnot I can just include a bunch of them in uh, other episodes although yeah I know I did that gig it was fine Guys around here. Enemies. What is it this time? The pipe that burst in our building. Those silly bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix everything. Watch your language. Can you oh, no, all of a sudden nobody's gonna attack me. Still don't know what was all that about. At the beginning of the episode. Maybe something to fix up some of the units too. I would have stolen them up. Yeah, this seems shady as F. This entrance right here. You had one job. The cost of this cutting edge therapy treatment has been listed at the way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Yeah. Hey, what have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I mean, they do have ties to Arasaka. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. <laughs> oh, someone's in a great mood. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horse chase. So having a grand old time. This has been your world. Why don't you believe Judy? You think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Hey, nice conversation. So hold on. Uh, it is okay. It is in the evening. Perfect. Don't need to pass the time. It's like 8:47 p.m. in game. Welcome to Clouds, um, where we know what you're looking for. Would you it. care to jack into the terminal? Uh. Jacking in the personal 
isn't safe. You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. Into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper doc. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Doubt it. Do you know Evelyn Parker? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. Damn, okay, that's not bad. But I just want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Hey, Johnny. Uh, I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? <laughs> Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Uh, you know why I'm here? How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. That's... A bit disturbing, to be honest. But how does this work then? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Okay. Let's jack in. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Uh, samurai. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Oh, not all of them. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our right. system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Uh, Sky. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Sure, here, 500. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Okay. 
Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Don't worry, <laughs> all your grown-up toys will be... Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Ah, that's... Okay. Okay, nice to life. Yeah, when I'm gonna get the weapons back. Oh, hi. You are... Oh? Neo? No. It just says doll. Right, never mind. Yeah, but the thing is... I'm gonna have to... Equip my weapons back when I get them. Full elevator. Uh, I see a place I can hide bodies. Let's oh. take a look, shall we? It's Evelyn's booth. Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Check security feeds. Is that in the next room then? Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Okay, you said both nine. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, am I allowed? Not bad. But it would be much better here. I can't yeah. get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you! Here! Now! You got any idea who I am? Yeah. Sure thing, Draco. This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. Is this just the toilet? Your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Oh, we're going to have to Ooh, you hostile outside. area. Right. Clear shelf. Okay, let's connect here. Uh, don't have the one C. Damn. Seven uh, A. No, I have one C. C seven eight perfect. In a minute, need to piss first. Hey, safe area. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, that almost happened. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It it so you're telling me check security feeds. Uh, tell me here. Ah, okay. Hmm. What's this? Right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, something happened with her. I don't think this is part of... Well, Klein wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Yeah. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Mm. I don't think so. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Yeah. Weird. Hmm, damn. Right. Got the both nine then. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Valerie? It's just V. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. True. So, V. 
You're dying. Wait, how do you know I'm dying? How do you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Uh, can you tell me where she's... Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Just gonna talk in circles, in riddles then? You just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. So you think this is what fulfilling my deepest desires looks like? I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Mm, don't think you can come to terms with something like that, like that easily and that fast. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? You want to be the best. Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Not gonna die completely. The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. Scared of the... Unknown of dying again. I think I might just be afraid. So I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of the void. Because that's about what greeted me before. Fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death. So what now? <sighs> so what now? You find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You 
go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. I'm not sure I can manage. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Oh. Damn. Thank you. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Samurai. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Uh, no. He wasn't what I expected. Gotta say. That wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy, soul-searching debate. Look, baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. <laughs> Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. Um, <laughs> just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Sky, not some soppy algorithm. What do you know about Evelyn? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Uh, look, I'll pay you for your trouble. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Notice anything unusual? Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Oh, one other customer attacked her? A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. So who's Tom? Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Hmm. Okay. Need to get to the VIP area. Which could be a bit more... harder. Got uh, force open.
Can you let me in? <laughs> hmm, okay. The answer is no. Right, why are you still showing red? I'm not gonna kill, I'm just gonna... VIP token, clouds. Yes, you actually had something. Thank you. Wait, is this for this one? Or do I talk to with you? Ah, okay, it's up here. Never mind. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. <laughs> Body guide. Wasn't there? It was on this side. You really think they remember nothing? Well, that's the whole point. They're not supposed to remember. Not a single diary. No entry, but that camera is. Watching. Okay, I can get that one. Fall elevator. Probably this is gonna be my uh, exit point. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Not exactly a customer. Sure. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Wanna talk to Evelyn? Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Uh, I'm familiar with the accident. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants. Recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. But well, did she tell you she was leaving? Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where, I, where can I find this Woodman? Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. And who is he exactly? Woodman. Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Thank you. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The <laughs> skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Hey, everybody seems to be still chill about it. Okay. Not sure if I turn off that camera if it will get alerted. So let me just wait for it to look away. Better that. Your 
is the resident. Mm hmm. 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 Okay, it's a shard over there. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever heard of Jotaro Shobo? He's one of the tea claws. Yeah, I've heard. A fucking psycho. Likes to hurt people. The evidence jacket. Looks familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. Crumpled like a tissue. Must have been here a while. But so what? Asos hey. like Shobu have been on my black list before. The mock blacklist is more powerful. It actually means something. Hold it there, honey. You seem to be in the wrong place. Hey, no peeking. Bad luck sings like this. Okay, I'm I'm out, I'm out, don't worry. Just came here to pick up that katana apparently. Mm-hmm. Ah. Move, move, move. Thank you. Yeah. Sleep tight. We have another VIP token. Harry Flint and Jeremy White. Sub Chumle swap shifts for Saturday. We saw whopping. My kid ran away from home. Was that it? Yeah, I don't want to be rude about it, but what was the point of that conversation? So, like, it was important, right? And I don't need to take this door, apparently. That thing can explode. And there is something more. Okay, more gear. Evelyn schedule. Uh, when did mm, Cloud Shift? Nails, lunch, pretty breakfast cancelled. It's like a security room. Night. More cloud the uh, tokens. Schedules, incident reports. Tiger Claws reinforcements called. Okay. Employee security called in for an emergency. Right there, see that? 2 a.m. They hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. Yeah. Damn. Nothing to say about that, Johnny? I guess. Spring catalog. Josie, VIP. Fetishes, food, the preference, likes to dominate, okay. Mostly Tiger like Claw's moonlight is peeping toms. Always got eyes on their dolls. Know what goes on in these booths. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch? Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Okay, Netron attack took place in boost 11. Witness was Thomas Briggs. Session, okay. 
followed assault at 2 a.m. All of cloud security were requested on the premises, and 10, minute, 10, minute, 10 minutes later, Tiger Claws enforcement were called. Luckily, both 11 was the Netrunner's sole target. Okay, local network. And then messages, booth 11. Ginger Lane. I've been needing access to booth 11 and all recordings from inside going back a month. A month. Uh, please do not prevent Detective Lane from doing her job. If all she wants are the recordings, cough him up. Okay, nobody goes in 11 until I give the all clear. Well, we've already been there. the technical ability apparently for this one yes this could be potential exit interrogate woodman hey there buddy no clients allowed in here just sit well, your ass down. close the door on the way out would ya as you can see, I'm very busy. Yeah, I can see that. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Uh, tell me where she is. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a missing persons bureau. Let me guess. You played with the doll once or twice, and now you want to run off into the sunset. Go down to reception, they'll find your soulmate 2.0 in even fewer seconds than that. I mean, you look like a reasonable man. Let's make a deal. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But mm. go on. I'm listening. Oh. Okay, do have a couple of options. Corpo. I do have. You know what? Looks like you have a net runner problem. I can help. No, you guys got hit by a runner a while back. I can make sure that never happens again. That's so. Uh, let's hear it then. Only if you help me. Tit for tat. Want to be net secure? You're going to help me find Evelyn first. That's the only way. This is gonna work. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, exactly. where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. So, she stopped bringing in profits? Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something. Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. Does that happen often? They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. 
And for every one that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Okay, get to the point then. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. So why do you do that? You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. Yeah, you're repulsive. People like you deserve a special place in hell. Yeah, people like you need to come up with better insults. We done here. So, you invested eddies in Evelyn? You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? Please. <laughs> You got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> uh, right. Name and address. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. Now, you do your end. How do we board up against hacks? Uh, sure, you have to isolate what? the chip's core Don't layers. Don't tell me you forgot already. You'll need soft that'll isolate chip and implant receptor layers from Cloud's subnet. At the same time, it'll keep track of and block any attempts to modify the core on the go. Uh, now in human rather than machine. Need Smart Eye. Latest version. Smart Eye. Got it. And I come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Uh huh. That's why the elevator was Dark there. fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co ed's wet dream. Thank you for that comment, Johnny. Right. We're done here. Unless anything else can happen. Yep, thank you. Gonna have to A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. Right, maybe later. Keep level up. Got a real charm this place. In that slimy subterranean kind of way. Uh, I see dollhouses still aren't your thing. See, her opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a 10 mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. Hmm. Do you think we'll find her there, Ad Reaper? Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Right. Well, that's true. Oh. Area hostile? Why? Which area is hostile? Up here or down there? Uh, 
And of course, I don't have my weapons up. Uh, Skippy here. Ying Long. Then. Five. Okay. Maybe the shotgun for now. And the rest I'll check later on. I like it that it says hostile. Want to have some fights going on around here or Oh no. You had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Yo, 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 my tumor, shroomers, and tumors. Mr. Okay. Wendy here, drop that milk dose kibble and rust. Ah, fuck! <coughs> the hell's that? Relic malfunction detected. No, no, damn it. What do you want from me? Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. What do you care if I leave? Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. So what do you want? Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Some ideal or squared a judge a grudge. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You're just a hallucination. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? J just ignore And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing. And frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, Mikoshi. What's that exactly? Okay, so this Mikoshi. What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net. Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? So that's what happened to you? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. And how is this linked? Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And Arasaka, how do you plan to destroy it this time? And uh. How you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. 
Okay. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Okoshi. The area is still hostile. Okay. Can we talk more? No. Did I lose a bit of my health? I think I did. Hey! Right, call Judy. It's not a uh, Jordan weapon. Uh Blink in the eyes. Is a prison in your hand? Okay. Uh, space in between. Motel. Motel. Uh, okay. So, right. I'm just gonna get uh, the last level for technical and then I'll see with the port point where it goes. The call Judy and oh okay and this is actually really close to the side job as well but I think uh, next time I'm gonna tackle a couple more side jobs maybe here uh, in uh, Wakako's area there's one here the one there tarot card okay I can get that one Maybe this one, unless. Yeah, okay. These two, I should be able to get them. The one that I couldn't get in was here. But now I have double jump, though. I wonder if there's a way for me to get in there with the double jump. I guess I could check that off screen if need be. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. For now, I'm gonna leave it here for this episode because it's a bit on the longer side. I just wanted to finish this part of the main quest. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And I'll see you next time. But as always, don't forget to take care.